video, check this out. To the subscriber that sent me the actual video, to um, to um, the content that I'm actually posting towards or whatever, I already made a response video, and that's what it is coming up. But I can't post the video that you sent me due to the nudity part of it. When she was holding her chest and laying down, and you know she was in the nudity, and uh, I can get a copyright claim for that and a strike, and uh, you know I'm not trying to get that. We're gonna avoid that, and uh, you know we ain't trying to have none of that. But um, I did make the content to it, and I actually um, took a picture or whatnot of old girl from the video that you sent me. So that'd be in the thumbnail, you know. So um. We're going to avoid YouTube copyright claims and policies and all that shit. But enjoy the video, though, because I did respond to your video that you sent me. Holla. Yo, fellas, what's good? It's KC, the Red Pill Alpha, back at y'all again with that heat. And y'all already know what time it is. But we're going to jump straight to it. And you know how to get at me. The description is, you know, my how to get at me is underneath the video. You know, however you say it. I, I ain't no internet, <laughs> you know. But um, you know how to get at me. A thousand is the goal. My videos for education purposes only. Fair use and only. <clears throat> and fellas, you already know. The wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin, and everything going to stay on that motherfucking neck. Right? Right. Now let's get straight to it. Just like the dope game. Selling ass is definitely short-lived. It's short-lived. We're going to speak on it. We get a little swig of this <clears throat> water. Then a little bit dry. I head back to this gym on this good morning. It's like almost, shit, it's going to be about three times a day I'm going to have to go. But to take care of some business. But, um, you know, I grew up. In the ghetto. I grew up in the projects, Kansas City, Missouri, the 12th Street section, you know, 18th and Vine and everything of that nature. So if you're from Kansas City, Missouri, you know about the project section. And if you're older, you know about the high risers and the short risers, you mean the low risers of um, Wayne Minor, you know, such as, you know, if you go to Chicago, they had a Capri D Greens and all their high risers, you know, we all. You know, it's been gentrified, knocked down, set aside. Now we got, uh, you know, we never thought we'd see Caucasians running through the hood with dogs. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we never saw, we, we never thought we'd seen, uh, <clears throat> they got the trash bag with dog poop and all that. That's all that's new to me. You know, I did time. So when I, before I went in, I never saw that. But when I got out, you know, the world is more on a um, health conscious level. And that's cool, you know, things have evolved. But I come from the era to where prostitution runs rapid. Runs rapid, <clears throat> you know. Because back in the days, they were standing on the corner selling their ass, you know what I'm saying? And all walks of life. And you go to California, Figaro Avenue and all that, you know, certain places, <clears throat> Vegas, certain places across the United States, they still operate like that. But in a lot of places, it's been stopped. The feds raided and shut that type of shit down. So they moved themselves to the internet. They moved themselves to social media. You know, the old chicks that was doing it back in the days, they gone. So it's like out with the old and with the new. So the young chicks has gravitated to the same mentality and the energy that's left out there from them streets. It's just been transferred to your fingertips now. <clears throat> and in some places, it's still in the streets. But not everywhere like that no more. No, they kind of got a stronghold on that. But, you know, the P's still going to be the P's and get their money. They're going to, they gonna, you know, bitches got to run rain, sleet, the snow. They're going to still have, you know, the P's got to run them bitches rain, sleet, the snow. Bring that money in. I respect, I understand, I respect the game. I come from the dope game. So everybody respect everyone's game when it involves currency and trying to better yourself and build yourself and whatever you're doing. Do what you do. But <clears throat> for the women that don't know, selling your ass is short-lived, just like the drug game. I've been in prison, you know, not only for violence, but I had a rack up of charges, including selling drugs, you know, uh, 
sales, um, trafficking, distributing, things of that nature, manufacturing, cooking the shit up. I had those kind of charges. It laid me down for a nice bit. And I had to grow, wake up, and understand that um, life isn't no game. You know, you strike your ass out just as fast as you strike yourself in, you know, and get you up out of there. But the women. What y'all don't understand is that doing what you do, you're going to do what you do anyway. I'm not here to lecture you, school you, preach to you, you know, try to give you a hold of summit on you selling your ass or whatever. I just know it's short-lived. You know, you're dealing with Johns. You're dealing with motherfuckers that's dealing with their emotions and their horniness and hormones at the top of them actually want to lay there and be up, you know, pay their money and fuck with you like that. <clears throat> so, you got a lot of homicides, murders, suicides, I mean, um, not suicides, homicides, um, killings, um, domestic violence and things of that nature that comes with that territory of you selling your ass. Now you in court complaining on the next motherfucker, you downtown, you in, you know, you, you with the police and you complaining about what this person, what that person have done to you, how much they stole from you, how they robbed you, how they forced you to do these things, sodomize you, and things of that nature. Something I definitely do not condone, but these things happen. It's, the shit is here. It'll never go nowhere. Because you're dealing with mindsets of people. <clears throat> so you can think about the little $200, $300 you done made, $400, $500 you done made in a couple minutes. But that's got a short life to it. You may not get caught up for what you do. You may not go to jail. You know, I know how y'all talk. Send a donation and think. I know how y'all talk online and how y'all translate y'all words and shit. You know, the law may not catch up to what's actually happening. And they may. Who knows? But the men that you're dealing with, it's not going to hold no mercy over you. And that's real talk. There's going to be one day you're going to fuck around and run across the wrong motherfucker. And your fast money is going to be your last money. Trust me when I say this. So, I have seen so many women back in my time when they was out running the streets, selling their ad when the streets was packed with them. You know, I have seen so many serial killers pick them up. <clears throat> You've never seen them no more. You look up, you like, damn. <clears throat> I'm sitting in prison with the same motherfucker who Hold up, this was this dude? He did this? Yeah, he did. Murdered, kidnapped, tortured, raped, sodomized, did everything under the sun to about 40 or 50 women. And I may not be in prison with him. He may be in prison at the same time I was in there in another, you know, city or state or whatnot. Your Ted Bundy's, you know, your, you know, your um, <clears throat> Richard Ramirez, your, um, Green River Killer, your people of that nature, they still exist because those individuals are not around us. Don't mean the mentality of those individuals are dead. No, it's not dead. It's still around. And it's got a long life in it and it'll never die because you're dealing with the mentality of a human being. So it'll never stop. So everything she's saying on here, and for you, you, you young women that's actually watching this, do not follow this. Fast money will be your last money. Trust me when I say it. You're talking to a guy who spent time selling dope. I spent the time in prison, took it away from I can never get that time back. And the way you're moving, you're thinking it's cool. You're thinking it's furniture, your lifestyle, you're traveling abroad, you're going to these different states, different countries, you meeting different people, you dressing how you want to dress, you probably got a good bank account. But all it takes is for one motherfucker to get up on you and be led by his feelings and be led by his motherfucking dick. And you treat him like a trick. That he is. This sugar daddy, sucker, whatever he is, simple, whoever you want to, he's really that. But you must remember, this guy don't give a fuck. 
he's paying his money. He want a certain type of treatment. And if he's not getting that treatment, then off with your motherfucking head. And it goes just like that. I've seen so many women get their lives ripped away from them. Trying to make that quick dollar. Utilizing their sex and their image and their, you know, whatever they can come with to, you know, suck a trick about his dollars. I've seen so many of them die. Fuck going to prison. I know so many of them that's dead. And that's real talk. I know a couple of them that's doing this shit on OnlyFans. In my city, they dead because they fucked with the wrong person. That's all it takes is the wrong person. That's been governed by his feelings. What you think he's going to do? You teasing him. You taking his money from him. You talking any kind of way to him. You know, he's out stalking you, watching you and shit. And then he's seeing you fucking with different guys when he actually think you are his. He's psychotic like that. And that little measly four, five hundred dollars that he that you used to getting from him, that you loving, that you're receiving from him and other guys is going to be your last. Because he's going to take that ass. And that's real talk. And it's no, it's going to happen. It's a chance it may, it's going to happen. Fuck a chance it may happen and all that. It's going to happen eventually one day. It's like a person selling drugs. You can do this shit for so long up under the sun until it actually catch up with you. It's going to catch up with you eventually. The reason why it catches up with you because it's not right from the beginning. When things are not right from the jump, when it's got its negativity in it, it holds no positive traits at all. It's going to come down. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. That's the way of the world. That's the way of the law. That's the that's God, if you want to call it that. That's energy. That's karma. That's how the fuck it is. Science. You want to spin it with the universe. Disregard my neighbor dog. You probably caught a possum or some shit. Ain't no telling. He tripping. But um, you get what I'm saying. All that shit is short-lived. You know, y'all can laugh at guys that's sitting in prison for selling drugs. You can laugh at guys sitting in prison for robbery, um, rapes. You know, we don't want to speak on that. We don't throw, you know, YouTube censors, what they say, grapes, grapes or whatever. You, you get what I'm saying. Um, 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 you know, all type of charges. Because they was living in a negative form. And when you live living in a negative form, eventually it's going to be exposed to the spotlight. And it's going to be brought down. Cause that's how it go. They don't have law enforcement out here for nothing. They out here to protect and serve, right? Service your ass right to jail for the rest of your goddamn life, or service your ass right to the morgue and let your family deal with that. It's just simple as that. That's how it go. So sisters, you ain't got to be a sister. You can be a Caucasian lady, Asian, Hispanic. I don't know. When you're thinking with that kind of mentality, <clears throat> excuse me, that old girl is thinking with, be prepared to mark your days. You may not know when it's going to come, but it's going to obviously come. All it takes is one person. Dealing with so many multiple, you know, individuals doing their thing. All it takes is one person. You know, do not follow what you're hearing. Oh, girls, do don't listen to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Do not do it. Especially if you ain't got the skills for that type of lifestyle. If you don't have the experience for that. If you're not governed or guided by the right person in that lifestyle, you need to stay the fuck up out of it. Because it's vicious. It's dangerous. It's a jungle over there. Real talk. It's really survival of the fittest. While you out trying to look good, you trying to keep your imagery up, you out shopping, buying the Chanel Birkins and you know, you Instagram pictures and you get thousands and millions of likes and shit like that. All it takes is one sick motherfucker to put that money out there and you going to bite. And it's off with your head. It's just that simple. That's all it takes. So, like these videos, share them and subscribe. And I want you young ladies to really pay attention to what's going on around you. Money is money. I mean, it can come and go, but it's also the root of all evil. You can always make it as long as you're living, but it can be considered the root of all evil. The reason why is because people do anything for the shit. They go to their grave for the dollar. Y'all see the, the, they was just talking about the chick on, um, 
fuck. Um, IG model, you know, when a guy ended up stalking her down, killing her, and then killed this turned the gun on himself. Yeah, that happens. That goes that that's just what y'all heard. This goes on daily, every day across the United States, across the world. It goes on every day. That's what happens. You may get the motherfucker may not just take your life, you know, motherfucker may take your innocence from you. You know what I'm saying? Violate you in the most horrendous way, and then what? Anything can happen, man, when you're living in that life. So value yourself, you know. And if you don't know how to value yourself to the extent that you feel like you, you know, you got to get out there, then get some guidance. Get someone to protect you or do what you do. And I ain't condoning none of that lifestyle, man. I'm just letting you know that you want to be safe when you're dealing with this kind of lifestyle. Like, oh, girl, it's fun and game. She's laying in the bed. It's cool. Everything's cool. All it takes is that one motherfucker. You're done. A thousand is the goal once again. And let's get there. Like them. Like these videos. Share them and subscribe. I got to go take care of some business. Holla. Yeah.